Hello there, this is Welsh ASMR 82. Hey, how you doing? So, um, in today's video we're going to look at the Champions League, Europa League, and first round of the Conference League uh, results. And we're going to do our predictions for match day, well, depends, match day 3, match day 2 depending on which competition. I am a little bit of a numbnut because I forgot, even though I actually have, um, I organised the league that we're in for this channel. If you want to join the league, then check out the info below. I actually forgot to predict match day two in the Europa League, so that's on me. But I did quite well in the Champions League, so we're going to look at all the results first. And then I'm going to look at the Predict 6 game that we're playing on the official UEFA app. Like I say, the code is below if you want to join me. Okay, so a quick look at the table. Of course, the new table with all the teams in it. I believe it's called a Swiss style. So 36 teams. Um, ironically, the Swiss team is at the bottom. Young boys. And then Borussia Dortmund particularly with their goal difference after this week, are top. Surprisingly, Prest is second. And then we have Benfica, Leverkusen, and Liverpool, Aston Villa, who've had a very good week, Juve and Man City uh, in the automatic qualification spot. Obviously, eight games, six to go, two down, six to go, so too much. You can't really look into that too much, but let's look at the results of match day two then, shall we? Okay, so Salzburg surprisingly losing 4-0 at home to Brest, who looked imperious, very good result from then, very good performance. Um, Stuttgart drawing at home to a plucky Sparta Praha. Um, they were winning, but Sparta came back. Wonderful direct free kick goal. I haven't seen many free kick goals in the last couple of years in any competition um, since, you know, the, the, the usual suspects, Ronaldo, Bale, Messi, etc. Uh, stopped playing in Europe. So it's very nice to see. And then we had a very big result. Arsenal beating Paris Saint-Germain 2-0. Goals from Kai Havertz and Saka. Fantastic result. Barcelona, as um, I said, young boys bottom the table because Barcelona beat them 5-0. Two goals from Lewandowski. Lovely goal from Rafinha. Martinez uh, from a corner and Kamara on goal. Leverkusen beat Milan. Uh, one goal from Victor Boniface on the 51st minute. Um, but he had uh, an earlier goal ruled offside. Judging by how well Milan have been playing in Serie A this year, that's a very good result. Did you just say grazie? Grazie per aver seguito con noi la diretta di questo match. Why is it totally in Italian? <laughs> Arrivederci al prossimo turno di Champions League. I didn't put it in Italian, did I? It's all in Italian. I wonder how that happened. Is that in German then? No. How did that happen? Okay. Obviously, the big one in terms of goals scored. There was a combination of things happening in this match. Okay. Borussia Dortmund 7, Celtic 1. Uh, Emre Can, a hat trick from Adeyemi, looked magnificent. Girassi and Mecha to um, cancel out Maeda's ninth minute goal. Um, I think that Celtic fans can feel a little bit hard done by because it was one of those games, yes, okay, the tactics were wrong, they should have been more defensive, they shouldn't have played out from the back as much as they did, particularly with the really high-pressing, aggressive counter-press from Dortmund, which they didn't learn from and just kept doing the same thing, same thing, same mistake again. Most of these are just mistakes. But practically everything Dortmund hit flew in the top of the net. It was one of those games. And let's see. 
minutes or 16 shots. Expected goals just 2.6. Um, 53% possession. The press was amazing. The um, closing down was amazing. But genuinely, they were hitting it from anywhere and it was just going right into the back of the net. So there was a mix of two things. They were always, I think, with the tactics that they had, with Celtic not changing their tactics, Brendan Rodgers being a bit stubborn and playing how he does week in, week out in Scotland, I don't think is going to work long term in Europe, particularly away to such a big team. Because your Dortmund were in the final, there was, you know, just a, a, they could, they should really be the defending champions in, in some respects. So, um, yeah, uh, it was a mistake, the tactics, but also it was just one of those games where literally everything flew into the back of the net. As the Amy was outstanding. Uh, Inter beating Red Star Belgrade 4-0. Not a massive shock there. Um, first goal of the season, I believe, for Arnautovic. Taremi had a really good game, scored a penalty, but made the goal for Arnautovic as well with his closing down and pass. PSV Eindhoven drew at home to Sporting, won all Schouten and Braganza with the goals, and Man City quite easily beat Slovan Bratislava 4-0, Gundwan, Foden Haaland and Makati, Makati, Makati maybe. And then on the second day, um, Girona <laughs> this game I watched today was so topsy-turvy. They both had a penalty saved. I think did they both have a penalty saved. And then PSV scored an own goal. No, let me get this right. So, Tavi Lopez scored for Girona. Then there was an own goal, so it was one all. Then Milambo scored a goal, which again was just pressing and closing down. Ueda missed his penalty. Well, very good save from Gatsaniga, actually. Then Miofsky missed his penalty. Still hasn't scored a goal for Girona since his move from Scotland. Tony van der Beek scored after having one ruled out. Oops. For um, offside, I think it was. And yeah, basically it was so topsy-turvy. And then Krejci scored a goal. So it could have been about... I think <laughs> it was a sensational match to watch for the neutral. But um, yeah, good result for Feyenoord. Girona will bounce back. Uh, Schachter losing um, at home in um, Gelsenkirchen, um, northwest Germany, to Atalanta. Jim City, Lukman, and Bellanova with the goals. Um, really massive result. Um, John Duran, the Colombian, scoring a goal against the side apparently that he um, loves the most, he would love to play for. So 1-0 to Aston Villa. The noise was deafening in the stadium and um, yeah, it was such an amazing event to have Aston Villa back facing one of the best, best teams in the competition and um, beating them. So yeah. They, um, and they deserved it as well, I thought they played really well. Um, then Benfica very surprisingly beat, no one scores 4-0 against Atletico Madrid. Um, but apparently Benfica do, and their two Turks have scored again, Adekolu and Kirkju, and then Di Maria scored and Bar. so 4-0, very very impressive. That does not happen to um, a Diego Simeone side very often. Gutted for Dinamo Zagreb after last week being hammered. They were 2 0 up against Monaco. Uh, 45th injury time goal and 66th minute. But they let Monaco back in. 74th minute equalizer from Salisu and Zakaria. 90th minute penalty. Obviously, congrats to Monaco for the um, energy and sort of willpower to get back into the match, but you know, quite disappointing for the home team. Okay. 
Another slightly surprising result was Lille beating Real Madrid. Penalty from um, David, and yeah, I thought that that could have happened. I just Lille don't tend to be that clinical, so um, yeah, I'm really really proud for them, happy for them. And um, normally I, I was watching the match uh, with, with, with sort of occasionally switching it on to see what was happening and turning it over to the other side. And um, normally Real Madrid just get themselves out of trouble, don't they? And they, you know, they brought on Mbappe towards the end of the match. But yeah, they didn't get out of it this time, which is unusual for them. So well done to Lille. Liverpool beating Bologna. Well, plucky Bologna, i got to be honest, they hit the post. But Liverpool just look fantastic this season. Uh, McAllister with the opening goal. And then uh, an absolutely superb Mohamed Salah goal um, to seal the victory. But yeah, I thought at times, you know, it was on paper, it, it, it showed that it wasn't completely easy for Liverpool. Okay, this one. So topsy-turvy. So um, two goals from uh, Sheshko. One of which absolutely amazing, ball over the top and then finished it. But ten man Juventus scored three, and the two good goals from Vlaovic and the winner from Conceição, just absolutely superb. So yeah, against the odds, um, Juventus beat Leipzig in Germany, three goals to two. And last one, Club Bruges, with a lovely goal from Solis. Um, managed to beat Sturm Graz in Austria. Big opportunity to get points for them, so they took it. Okay, let's have a look at how I predicted then. Okay, I managed to get 45 points, which is a massive increase on the 12 points that I had on match day one. So I said one all between Stuttgart and Sparta, Sparta Praha, and that's what happened. I said Arsenal would beat Paris Saint-Germain by two goals, but to one, so I got seven points for that. I said Inter would beat um, Red Star 3 0, it was 4 0, and I played my booster, so 14 points for that. I said Atalanta would win against Schachter, and they did, but I said 1 0, so seven points. I did think that Real Madrid would beat Lille 1 0, so zero points for me. And like I said, I never expected Atleti to lose by so many goals, so I said 1 0 and only got two points for that. Let's look at the league table. I'm up to 28th. I think I was extremely low last week. And I think, can I, how do I do that? I was gonna say view league, and then if I view based on match day two, I actually came third, just to show how well I did. Match day one, oh, that's overall. Match day one, I was really pathetic. was 59th, so I had a much, much better showing. Okay, let's predict for next time then, so match day three, Monaco, red star, I'm going to say 2-0 to Monaco, and obviously have them score first. Stromkrat Sporting, um, if Bruges can win at Stromkrat, I think Sporting will, so maybe I'm going to say 2-0 again. Aston Villa, Bologna, well, Bologna were really, really good against Liverpool, but Aston Villa were outstanding against Bayern. So as long as they treat them with the respect that they deserve, um, some people say 2-1, 2-0, I think I say 1-0. Okay, Leverkusen, mm, this is tricky because normally I'd say Leverkusen to win every day of the week, but Brest was so impressive last time. I'm going to go one all. I don't think many people are going to predict that. Late equaliser from Leverkusen, as usual. Salzburg, Dinamo, mm, two teams which really need to get a result. Which 
probably means it'll be nil nil. <laughs> and oh my goodness, that's a big one. This is why I quite like this new format so far. Barcelona against Bayern Munich in Camp Nou. 21% of people are saying two all. I quite like that. I think I'm going to play my booster on this one. Okay, join in. Let me know what you think. And um, now let's move on to the Europa League. Okay, Europa League. So Lazio sit top, Lyon in second, Spurs in third, Staupok rest in fourth, Antelect, Ajax, Frankfurt and Galatasaray. Oops. And then at the bottom we've got Besiktas, quite surprisingly. Okay, let's look at the match days. Oh my goodness. <laughs> okay, today's match day. So, French Varos. Uh, narrowly losing at home to Spurs with a late goal from uh, Wales' own Brennan Johnson, saving Spurs again in really, really good form at the minute. Uh, Hoffenheim beating Dinamo Kiev 2-0, Lazio beating Nice 4-1, which I think is quite an impressive scoreline. Boga's goal was really good, but uh, goals from Rodriguez, Castellanos and Zagani. And then uh, Tel Aviv losing at home to Miuland. 2-0, Olympiacos beating Braga 3-0. The first goal was a ridiculous defensive error from the Braga player. Hoofed it up into the air and just landed um, on the foot of a Olympiacos striker who set up El Gabi for yet another goal in Europe for him. Carabao lost at home to Malmö 2-1. Real Sociedad surprisingly lost at home to Anderlecht. That's two goals, 2-1. Two Bathgeth and Leone with the goals for the Belgian team from the capital. Uh, Athletic Club de Bilbao beating Alkmaar 2-0. Williams and Sunset with the goals. Um, this is a big shock for me. I said that Galatasaray would win against the Latvian champions. Easy peasy, but RFS came from two goals down against a pretty full squad of Galatasaray, two all in the end. Quite a shocker there. And Slavia Prague drawing with Ajax, one all. Besiktas losing a home three, one to Frankfurt. Elspor beating Roma with a penalty. They outclassed them in terms of their tactics and formation to be honest. On paper it was, you know, 75% and 23 shots to 6, but actually it does not tell the story of their excellent counter-attacking football from the Swedish team, so well done to them. Porto Man United, I didn't watch this match, I was watching the Roma match and the TNS match in the Europa Conference League, um, but very topsy-turvy, another <laughs> Another match for Ten Hag to scratch his head and think what is going on. Uh, three all. And um, a red card as well for Man United who got sent off for Man United. Bruno Fernandes again, twice in one week. And um, Harry Maguire with a 91st minute equaliser. I'll have to watch the, um, the highlights. I love that a ridiculous game comes to a close. Fente drawing with Fenerbahce one all. Pauk losing a home to Staubogarest, which is another shocker for me. Really late into injury time, but with ten men as of the second half when Olaro was sent off. Lyon beating Rangers in Glasgow 4 1. Goals from Fofana and Lacazette. Saint Gilles drawing a home to Bordeaux Glimt 0 0 and Victoria Pilsen drawing at home to Ludogorets Raskat of Bulgaria. Okay, let's do my predict six then. So as I said, I'm a complete numpty and I forgot to do my predictions. Um, so I got zero points for match day two. So I'm down to 22nd. I think I was much higher last week, I swear. 
bad. Striker Maxim and Kralias are Kralias are top. Let's predict for match day three then, shall we? Okay, based on today's results, Elspor were absolutely amazing. People are predicting 2-0, 3-0. I think they're going to get a result. I could see them getting a one all If they score first. And Braga, Bude Glimt. I think Bude Glimt are slightly in better form than Braga at the minute. No one really supporting that in the predictions, but I'm going to go a cheeky 1-0, why not? Midiuland against Union saint gilloise Hmm, Mignon saint was are having a transitional season and Mijuland are the champions of Denmark, so I think 2-1 to Mijuland is probably a sensible score. Hmm, Real Sociedad are not playing well. Normally I'd say this would be an easy victory. Um, Tel Aviv will be difficult to beat, but shall I go for a draw? I think I'll go for a narrow win for Real Sociedad. Lyon Besiktas. At the minute, for me, it is Lyon to win that one. And Porto Hoffenheim. Hmm. I think, based on the fact it's in Portugal, I think that I could see Hoffenheim getting a result there, to be honest. But I think being at home, they'll probably just about get a victory. Where am I going to put my booster? I think I'm going to put it. Hmm, they're all, I've been a bit dangerous with quite a few of them. I think I'll put my booster on Lyon. Come on, Lyon. Don't let me down. <laughs> okay, Conference League. Okay, just a cursory glance at the table after one match day. Circle of Bruges are top and Vikingur are bottom. Let's have a look at some scores. Oops. So, match day one, split over two days. Rapid VN beat Bashak Shahir in Istanbul, which I was quite surprised at, 2-1. I said Vittoria de Gimaraes would win against Selye. 3-1 was the score. Did not see this. Circle Bruce not playing that well domestically, but 6-2 winners against St. Gallen. I also said that Dinamo Minsk may get a result here, but they didn't. Well done to Hearts, winning that 2-1 with goals from um, an own goal. And Jan Dando, who used to play for my team, Swansea, getting the 94th minute winner. Well done to Hearts, having a terrible domestic campaign, of course. Um, Astana, I did say that Kazakhstan teams, the national team included, are difficult to beat at home, and Bashka Topola found that out. 1-0 to FC Astana. I also said hi and I'm the surprise package in the Bundesliga and should win this. So 2-1 win against the team from Slovenia, Olympia Ljubljana. Um, I didn't. I thought Noah would do quite well, but I didn't think they'd beat Mlada Bolesav from Czechia. But 2-0 is the score. And I said real pities are in really bad form, but Legia Varsova have really taken advantage of that and beaten them 1-0. Goal from Capuadi. Mulder beat Plucky, Northern Irish, debutants Lan 3 0. Ammonia Nikosha beat Vikingur 4 0, which I was quite surprised at. Goals from Koulibaly, Kakulis, and Alium. Uh, Banya Luka of B um, Bosnia drew with Panathinaikos 1 all. Chelsea, meanwhile, uh, beat Ghent 4-2. They were winning... About, yeah, there's a late goal, Gandelman. Oh, it was 2-1 at one point, and then 4-1, and then it was 4-2. Goals from Vega, Neto, Nkunku, and Dewsbury Hall. And where are we then? Petro Kubo, who I said would win because I watched a little bit of qualifying for the Champions League. Um, but Paphos beat them 4-1 in Moldova, so I'm quite shocked at that. Well done to Paphos. And then we've got Kubenhaun, who lost. They were winning this match. They lost in the end. 
So Cuba down um, were beating um, Jaglioni at Białystok, um, but then 98th minute winner from Chulinov gives the Polish team the win in Denmark. Wow, what a shock. Plucky, plucky TNS. I said it was going to be 5-0. Half time it was 0-0. An hour in it was 0-0. But then Adley scored in the 65th minute with a, um, a nice goal from the edge of the box and Moise Keane briefly afterwards. But apart from that, I mean, Fiorentina were obviously all over them. But um, I thought TNS just really, really, really did the Welsh um, Cymru Premier proud and I was so chuffed watching them. Well done to them. Um, they were never going to get a goal or anything, but it, it was really, really good defensive performance. Gotta say, they were very well drilled and um, there were some players that were causing more problems than others. I think... Ikone and Kwame were particularly good, but um, yeah, I thought uh, I thought they did themselves really proud. Well done to DNS. I thought they were going to get a draw. Lask two all with Hugh Gordon, Lugano beating Helsinki three 0 and Shamrock Rovers right at the death. Ninety second minute, even with ten men. Well done to the Irish, drawing with Apuel Nicosia with that goal from Watts. Okay, let's look at my predictions. Okay, match day one, then I predicted 2-0 to Victoria, so I get eight points for that. I said Bashak Shehir would win, so I got zero points for that. I said 0-0 between Ammonia and Vikingur, but it was 4-0 to Ammonia, so uh, didn't do very well there. Lugano, I said, would beat Helsinki, but I guessed 1-0. As I said, 5-0 is what I presumed, but 7 points for getting the win and predicting a score and a 0 for New Saints. And then I actually said Gent would get a draw, but uh, Chelsea proved me wrong, so let's have a look at the league then. I'm 17th, not doing too well. Let's see if I can do better next time, shall we? Match day 2. Oh my goodness, Lana against Shamrock Rovers, you're kidding me. Northern Ireland against Republic of Ireland, wow. Um, oh god, 41% people think it's going to be 2-1. I think that's a kind of a... Not a bad scoreline, actually. Not bad odds. Good luck to both. Uh, Jaglionia and Petrogub after this week, I'd say. 2-0 does look like a good one for the Polish team over the Moldovans. Apoel Borat, I can't remember... Apple drew this week, did they? Or did they draw? Hmm, I can't see them. But Borat did pretty well, so I think I'm going to say like one all. Um, then TSC against Legia. I think Legia will narrowly win. Olympia are quite good, aren't they? Um, am I going to go one all? I think that seems to be quite a popular scoreline. And Helsinki, Dinamo, all two of the weaker teams in the competition, I think. Um, one nil to Helsinki. That's a difficult one to put. There's some really difficult ones there. Oh my god, I put my money on. I think like Jaglionia is going to get my booster. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to give me a like and subscribe and check out the box below to join in on the official apps. The code is there for you and don't forget I have a Patreon as well if you love what I do. Also check out my maps channel and this video which is showing up somewhere around here right now in case you're still not asleep. But I'll see you guys really, really soon. Take care and... Bye-bye.